All right, Freedom Flynn here, Elected Freedom. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you my setup real quick for the Michael Jackson, Billy Jean mix that I did. I'm using my lovely M-Audio uh, Exponent and Torque, the software that comes with the Exponent. Uh, I've made a couple modifications. I'll run through those real quick. Uh, very, very easy and you'll see the logic behind it. And then I'll actually break down the mix and show you how I did it uh, this will hopefully help any beginners out there or anybody with an M Audio Torque and using the uh, M Audio Torque software uh, with the exponent that doesn't quite know how to do some things. So the first thing is I've got a bunch of cue points set up here. Um, now you can do those easily in Torque by just clicking the set button with the mouse or using the, uh, the mouse here on the exponent and then pick the corresponding uh, cue point that you want. Now I've got the same track loaded up on both sides so I've got Michael Jackson, Billie Jean loaded up on both sides. I've actually got some samples loaded up down here. I've switched my view so that I can see the sample bank. I love to use samples and the biggest thing for me trying to figure out uh, torque and switching to torque was how to actually play those samples using the controller. Uh, you would actually normally hit X or the minus sign and then that would load up whatever you assign for QS1 or QS2. So if I assign this first sample here to QS1, I hit the X sign, now my sample is loaded up. However, I can't play a track while that sample is going. So to me that was no good uh, because I wanted the samples to play along with the music that I had or the track I had loaded up in deck A. So what I did was I changed these down here through the MIDI mapping and all you have to do is right click on any of the uh, controls anywhere in a Torque and then push the corresponding button on your controller and it's automatically mapped. So if I right click this and hit 1, now 1, 2, 4, 8 on this side and 1, 2, 4, 8 on this side are for my samples. So this is sample 1 through 4 and this is sample 4 through 8. I like to set all my loops uh, by hand while the track is playing so I don't use these very much or if I uh, actually set it up before I'm ready to do my set Torque will automatically save those loops. So if I've got this loop already set up you see that it's going to play it already. So I've set that up prior and all I do to set that up, if we go back to the beginning of the track, is all I do is I hit play and I'm going to hit in and I'm going to hit out. And then if I get it off the first time I'll show you how to refine it. So there, I've got my loop set. So I don't use the 1, 2, 4 and 8 counts here to set my loops up. Uh, now I've got my samples loaded up in here, so if I want to bring in a sample now, you see how that works and that makes it much more practical when using Torque to, uh, to mash up or do remixes of a song. So this Billie Jean track, uh, what I want to do first is I, I've got, once again, my cue points set up over here. First cue point is here. So let me go ahead and loop that. So I've got my loop set there. And I've got my bass line. So if I want to go ahead and start this track from the beginning, let me just rewind this decade here to the very beginning. Uh, and what I want to do is start with the uh, with the track, Michael Jackson, Billie Jean, as is. So I'm going to just hit play. Okay, that's how the track normally sounds. So if I want to bring in my mix, what I'm going to do is I'm actually, I've got three separate samples loaded up here that I've put together outside already in Ableton uh, with my Axiom 25 and you can see that one
those go pretty well together. So if I actually want to load all three samples at once, I just hit all three at the same time. And that's what I did for this track. So if I want to go ahead and start over and bring it in on the beat, here's what I'm going to do. Press play. Oh, let me go ahead and start that again uh, with the cross finger over in the middle this time. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start this side up and then I'm going to bring in my loop over here that I've already created and my three samples at the same time. So it's going to be a little something like this. Everything's in time. My, my uh, samples are at 125. So I've set my track to 125. A very good tip for you if you automatically want to set your tone in tune with the BPM, you need to make sure this lock button is on and will automatically set the tone with your BPM. So I hope that helps you out. I've got more uh, of the way I do things, not necessarily tutorials but the way that I use my exponent and torque to, to mix live, produce remixes on the fly, uh, and watch my other videos and you'll see them in action. Uh, please rate, please comment, please subscribe. I've got more stuff on the way. I'll try to be as active as I possibly can. I hope this helps anybody out who's just starting out. Next videos, I'll show you how I've set up uh, uh, the exponent with... Uh, with Tractor, if you want to use Tractor, uh, presets are already set for Decadence and also um, PC DJ. Uh, and um, I'll run through that and I'll actually show you Virtual DJ, which to me is the same thing as per, uh, PC DJ VJ. Uh, but I'll have those coming up for you. Enjoy. Good luck. Talk to you later.